Who likes vehicle vibrations? They're a nuisance. They make for a rough ride and may cause damage to the vehicle. To limit this, shock absorbers dampen vibrations by dissipating them into wasted energy. So what do we lose? Well, currently it's about 10% of the total energy. This loss limits the vehicle's effective range, and for electric vehicles, it's even worse. Electric vehicles suffer limited range and long recharges, which is longer compared with refueling a combustion engine, and this can mean a lot of lost productivity. So we thought, would it not be wonderful to have a new kind of shock absorber that can convert vibrational energy into electric current to recharge the electric vehicle? Of course, this won't be exclusive to electric vehicles. Conventional vehicles can use it to save fuel, charge their batteries, with the rest of the electricity used for onboard electronics. Here those of us on the Electrointrusion project seek to develop a technology to create regenerative shock absorbers, which transform vibrational energy into electric current effectively and cost efficiently. And just like a heat pump, they take thermal energy from the environment to get things going. So in other words, our idea is that you harvest the vibrations plus heat from the environment to charge your vehicle batteries and power its systems as you drive. So how do we do it? To reach this objective, we make use of non-wettable porous nanoparticles, similar to sand grains dispersed in water or other liquids. This will allow us to combine the two following physical phenomena. Firstly, contract electrification. You can think of this as the static shock you get from rubbing your hands together. And second, liquid cooling phenomena as it enters the non-wettable nanopore. The first phenomenon is the one happening when the two materials rub against each other. When the water is forced to, into a cycle of entering and exiting from a hydrophobic porous material, the nanopore, the liquid and solid, acquire opposite electric charges. These charges, when collected, generate a current. Here the energy driving the liquid's entry, or intrusion, is the vehicle's vibrational energy. As the liquid enters into the porous material, it cools. This process takes the heat energy from the environment. Hence, we use both vibrations and thermal energy from the environment. By this approach, we can then achieve a nominal conversion efficiency of electric power greater than 100% when compared to the vibrational power absorbed. This is similar to how heat pumps work, which passively harvest heat when the motor pushes the fluid. So we will turn shock absorbers into electric generators. So what could we do? Using data published by the European Environment Agency, applying our approach to city cars only, we can reduce the overall electricity consumption of the EU by 4% in 2050. Imagine the impact of applying this to a large scale over many economic sectors. Of course, energy may come from any vehicle. Trains, aircraft, ships, pieces of industrial equipment, turbines, engines, common household devices, washing machines, lawn mowers, and tools, drills, and jackhammers. The Electro-Intrusion Project will have a significant impact on society it will contribute to increasing the energy efficiency of a broad range of commercial apparatuses, reduce the cost of their use, increasing their productivity of their corresponding sectors, and contribute to the overall goal of the EU towards a carbon dioxide neutral society.